Hey there, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, sorry, I've been a little late. Had some technical difficulties. No idea what's going on. Ended up with kaleidoscope face. Um, this is Leslie Dorries, the owner of Foundations Coaching and the creator of the Hero Husband Project. And it's Thursday afternoon, and it's a beautiful day where I am. Finally, the sun is shining, and I got my back door open. <clears throat> And Thursday's the day that we talk marriage. Now, I got to tell you, today is day 15 of my captivity. Um, I am under mandatory quarantine. I'm healthy, yay. Um, but this really has been a lot of challenging times for people. And a lot of us are in our homes. A lot of us are working from home. Um, a lot of us are stuck with our kids, not me, because mine are out of the house. Um, but this is not normal times. And that means that people are under stress. And stress is not conducive to healthy and happy relationships. But guys, your marriage can really survive this. In fact, I'm gonna make a suggestion that you take this as a real opportunity. If you need a reset, take one. If things are pretty good, then make sure they stay that way. Um, if you're working from home, it's really important that you make sure that you have boundaries in place. When, when are you working? When are you not working? I recognize this can be extremely complicated for those of you whose children are at home, um, but it's still important to make sure that we're not, that we're not mixing everything up. This whole, um, idea of multitasking, really brain science has proved we can't do that. So if you need to do what um, uh, a mentor of mine, Bill Barron taught me, which is to do power hours, which are actually only 50 minutes, which means you work for 50 minutes and then you take a 10 minute break. Um, and that will be conducive to doing all the things that you need to do to get your work done. Um, but also give you a little bit of break. And it's also important to talk to your partner about who's doing what, because if both of you are in the workforce and your children are now at home, please just don't assume that one person is gonna be responsible for childcare and the other one isn't. That's how resentment starts to form. That's how we get ourselves into trouble. So yes, this is tough, let me tell you. Day 15, I'm in the same house with my husband, but we are rarely in the same place at the same time, and it's been more than 15 days since we've actually touched each other. So I'm going to tell you it's not a whole lot of fun, but it's time limited, and it actually has made me, it's made me aware of the things that I actually take for granted. The fact that we have slept in the same bed for 35 years. Um, the fact that I can just reach out and touch him or, or him reach out and touch me, we can't do that right now. But, you, but hopefully you and your partner can. Um, one of the big things is there's a lot of fear around this. And it's not unjustified fear, but it may be um, overblown fear. And you and your partner will probably have different viewpoints of what to be afraid of. And the important thing is to be willing to listen and not necessarily dismiss. Don't say they're being oversensitive or they're being scaredy cat or they're not taking it seriously enough. This is a time for you guys to really stop and pay attention to how you're interacting with each other. Um, if you're not doing well, then please reach out and get help. Reach out to me, reach out to my colleagues. Most of us work virtually and we are here to help you. We want to help you get through this. Um, I do know that children can be real sque squeaky wheels, but it's okay, um, provided that they're not infants, that they have to um, take care of themselves, that they have to find something interest to do, that they can play by themselves. You don't have to spend every waking hour entertaining your kids. Um, that'll make you crazy. It'll also distance you from your partner. So if you find yourself doing that and you find yourself wanting to be with the kids instead of being with your partner, 
again, that can be a red flag that can show that um, maybe something's not as good as it could be in your relationship. Um, this is really critical because nobody knows how long this is going to be going on. And um, that's, that's one of the problems. Human beings don't like uncertainty. And this is really uncertain times. But here's the deal, guys. You have control of yourself. And you need to be able to identify what you're feeling and find a productive way to deal with it. Now, hopefully that does mean talking to your partner. Um, we can still do this. I still, you know, we can still actually see each other, which I think is great. Modern technology does have some advantages. But the big thing is, is to self-manage. Um, fear, fear keeps us alive, but fear can also create problems in our lives. And so don't be too afraid. Don't be too afraid to reach out. Don't too, be too afraid to talk to each other. Um, this is a time when you can realize just how much you guys have, how much you love each other, um, and those are all good things. So if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'd be happy to talk with you, free of charge. So give me a call or just I am me on Facebook and we're going to get through this. And until next week, stay loving.